Hello everyone and welcome to Scott Dunga's English. I'm Scott Dunga. I, I hope you are all well and safe. This is the second edition uh, where we will be looking at a phrasal verb, an idiom, a word, something called the battle of words. And we'll also be looking at a topic of the week which I'll give my opinion on a little bit later. Now before we get into this, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who has liked, watched, subscribed and shared the videos thus far. It really is much appreciated. Uh, you're really helping the, the channel grow uh, and thank you very much for that. So now we're going to be looking at the phrasal verb of the week. So the phrasal verb of the week is hang up and our definition is to end a phone call. The definition to end a phone call, my example for you here, is I had to hang up my phone last night because my dinner was ready. So I had to hang up my phone last night because my dinner was ready. So that is our phrasal verb of the week. All right, let's move to the second one. So we have here the idiom of the week. So again, a quick reminder on what an idiom is. An idiom is an expression that we have in the English language. You have them, uh, I'm sure, in your own language as well. Uh, this is an idiom that we use in English. So it is to run around like a headless chicken. So to run around like a headless chicken. Seems a bit strange, but I'll explain it to you now. So the definition we have is to run around busily, but without achieving much to run around busily without achieving much. Here I'm going to give you a verbal example as well as a literal example. So my verbal example for this one here is if you run around like a headless chicken, you aren't going to get anything done. So if you run around like a headless chicken, you aren't going to get anything done. So I'm going to give you a, a literal example now. So for instance, if I have something to do at this moment and I feel I need to do it in a rush, I could just walk over here. Maybe walk. What, what am I doing? Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing? I'm doing nothing. That's what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything productive. I'm not achieving much at all. So there I was running around like a headless chicken. I wasn't achieving anything. I was just looking busy. And I'm sure we all know someone who runs around busily, but does very little, achieves very little. So people like this run around like a headless chicken. Now we'll be moving to the word of the week, which is straight away. And as you can see here, it is an adverb. Our definition is without delay or hesitation. So without delay or hesitation. So my example for you is, I went straight away to the supermarket last night when I realized I had no chocolate. So I went straight away to the supermarket last night because I realized I had no chocolate. That is your word of the week, straight away. Now we're going to be moving on to the battle of words for this week and a reminder for those who don't know what the battle of words is, is when we look at the difference between words that are similar but not the same. So here this week we have safe and save and we're going to begin with safe as an adjective which is something or someone who is free from any risk. So something or someone who is free from any risk. For example, I feel safe in my house. So I feel safe in my house. Let's move to the noun. So safe again, this time as a noun, is used to refer to a box to keep valuables. So it's used to refer to a box to keep valuables. So this is a box that you can buy in shops, you can buy online. And this box can go anywhere in your home. This could go in your bedroom, in your kitchen, in your lounge. And inside of this box, you can keep your valuables. So those valuables could be anything from an expensive watch to money to anything that you consider valuable. Let's now move to save. So remember to stress the V in this one, save. Save is a verb. 
And the first meaning we have is to describe an act that rescues someone or something from danger. So to describe an act that rescues someone or something from danger. So my example for you here is I saved my best friend from a burning building a few years ago. So I saved my friend from a burning building a few years ago. Because I rescued him from danger. I took him out of the fire, out of the burning building. The second one we have here is to indicate the act of storing something in the hard drive of a computer. Now I'm sure many of you out there have computers or have electronic devices and if you have a tablet, a smartphone or a laptop you'd know that when you want to keep something on there you need to save it. Any information that you want to keep on there you need to save it. If that's on a document or that's any sort of game that you're playing you'd want to save your progress. So that is the second meaning. The third meaning we have is to indicate keeping money or something else for storage. So to indicate keeping money or something else for storage. Now if you watched the first edition then you would know the phrasal verb that we had a look at uh, in the first edition and here we have so keeping money uh, would mean to save. So for instance if I'm saving for a holiday I'm saving for a holiday means that this is money that I'm keeping for my holiday. And you can also use it as something else for storage as well. So that could be any object that you want to save, anything that you want to keep for a period of time. This is the battle of words for this week. Safe and save. Now we'll be moving to the topic of the week. And our topic is, is criticism more useful than praise? So is criticism more useful than praise? Now you might ask yourself, what does criticism and what does praise mean? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be tackling first. Criticism means when we say something negatively about something or somebody. And praise is the opposite. Praise means when we say something positively about something or somebody. So we're going to look at this topic, I'm going to give my opinion and I'd like to see your opinions in the comments below as well of what you feel about this topic here. So is criticism more useful than praise? Well in my opinion criticism is more useful than praise. However, it depends on how the criticism is given. If the criticism is a verbal attack on you then that doesn't help you, that doesn't help you as a person. All it does is it can make you feel low, can make you feel miserable, can make you feel a bit depressed. So that's where I feel criticism can have a negative effect, but that's why just here, I'm sure you have seen it throughout the video, is constructive criticism. Now constructive criticism, in my opinion, is what helps people massively, because this is what can help people improve. This can help people improve personally, can help them improve on individual projects or activities that people are doing and that's why I think constructive criticism is crucial for a person improving personally and improving anything that they they want to do or they want to set their mind to. Uh, but you can't you can't ignore praise. Praise is, is just as important as well because people need their confidence boosting too. So I, I feel probably they're both equally important but in terms of criticism I feel that that converge on, on having a more of a negative effect uh, but it depends on the words that people use and that's why I would go as far as saying constructive criticism uh, is the best is the best sort of advice that can be given to you because it's the best way for you to improve to be a better person to have a better project to do better in an activity. Uh, that's where I think constructive criticism, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, is certainly um, the best uh, that you can receive from a person. 
I hope everyone has enjoyed uh, the second edition and I'd love to see your comments below so let me know what you think about the phrasal verb, the idiom, the word, the battle of words and the topic of the week so write it all down in the comments below um, remember to like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff really is appreciated everyone uh, and I'll see you very soon on the third edition in a week's time see you soon, bye